a nice little trick you guys can use out in the field as well when it's cold like this. You can use the exhaust off your equipment to heat up your pipe so it becomes more flexible. It'd be like just a regular summer day. And we went from what? 40 aqua blocks to 60? It was, previous basin only held 680 gallons and this basin currently is holding 1,380 gallons. Head explosion, because that math just hurt his head. But, yeah, it, it really hurt. <laughs> and the funny thing is, when we got out here, we thought this basin was a lot smaller, so we were only gonna put in 40 small aqua blocks, but then upon further investigation, when we were pulling everything apart, it had 10 small aqua blocks and 10 large aqua blocks. So in incorrect, it had 20 and 20. Correct. See, too much math. I've already screwed my head. I know how to do math. Yeah, my head's messed up. aren't prepared for the weather. I am, I'm nice and warm. I actually had to take a sweatshirt off because I was that warm. Yeah. Steve's ready to go do a mud dance back there. Uh -huh. Or he's thinking about Mexico beach in 100 degree weather. It's Monday. It's not snowing. It's sun shining. Oh, it's a heat wave, man. High of 36 today. At least there's no wind. <laughs> What happened to your all slap happy chipper greatness that you had on Friday? That was Friday. Did it catch up to you over the yeah. weekend? Yeah, I did. Not had your uh, your juice box for the day yet? Not yet. All right. So what's the game plan for today? Finish. Finish, which I finish, think finish. We are, in, we are in good shape to be finished today. Things so, looking awesome. Yeah, so we're able to set pretty much all our big rocks on Friday, and then today we're gonna set a few more bigger size rocks, and then it's gonna be all detail work, which is probably gonna take the longest with uh, all the detail work. So you already got your spillway set coming off your waterfall, your overlap done. Yeah, so I'm just gonna double check. I just roughed that in on Friday. I'm just gonna double check everything, make sure it's uh, elevations are all okay, and then if we are all okay, we're just gonna start working our way out of here. Awesome. Stay tuned. Yep, it's looking great. Luis is working on, he's digging out around that three inch where it connected to the two inch going into the old centipede and snorkel. What we're gonna do is put a three inch coupler on that, bring that three inch line up over and down in, reconnect that with another coupler so that we can tie it back into the old check valve so we're reusing all that plumbing. We're gonna cut that two inch flex, put a couple couplers in it, add some two inch rigid so we can get our depth to the bottom of the pondless vault to hook up the pump, put all this back together. trick you guys can use out in the field as well when it's cold like this you can use the exhaust off your equipment to heat up your pipe so it becomes more flexible and be like just a regular summer day doing here because we don't have another extension we ended up cutting the aqua block feeding this piece through we ended up cutting our hole fed this through and then reused another three inch coupler to connect this line over to the main line so ready to rock and roll good job Luis good I love my job you look thrilled good. excited and warm well I am warm that's it yeah. that's all you got all right <laughs> Well, Luis and I get the pump plumbed in, the extension onto that, get it hooked up. That'll be all be done. Maybe by then Jack will have something to say. Probably not. Out over there. Nah, you're done. So I'm gonna jump over and help Jack set a couple rocks, but Luis is gonna wrap this up. We got the pump hooked up, the stub pipe extension onto the check valve, and now he's waiting on Steve to bring him a heat gun. He's gonna heat up that little bit of pipe right there so that that coupler seats perfectly. You can connect that up and that part will be done.
Hey, you're in my shot. I know. It's done. <laughs> That's all you got? It's done? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, good right, job. What else do you want me to say? Yeah, so uh, we had two and a half days to pretty much finish up this project and we pretty much did that. A little less than that considering we were only out here on Friday for almost, it was like- Half day. Yeah, it was like a half day so almost. So it was actually like two days. Yeah. We had two and a half days. Yeah. Got so we it had done in two. So we're uh, rocking and rolling. This thing sounds awesome. It looks awesome. It turned out really nice. I'm really happy how it turned out. The basin's redone. We went from what? 40 aqua blocks to 60? It was, this Ish. basin only held 680 gallons and this basin currently is holding 1380 gallons head explosion because that math just hurt his head <laughs> but yeah it was uh so over doubled the size of the basin yeah and the funny thing is when we got out here we thought this basin was a lot smaller so we were only going to put in 40 small aqua blocks but then upon further investigation when we were pulling everything apart it had 10 small aqua blocks and 10 large aqua blocks so in incorrect it had 20 and 20 Correct. See, too much math. I already screwed my head. I know how to do math. Yeah, my head's messed up. But yeah, we came in there and we ripped that out. We went deeper. We did a layer of large aqua blocks. So 20 large aqua blocks. And then we threw our 40 small aqua blocks on top of that. So we double stacked those and put those on top of our large aqua blocks. So now this thing is rocking and rolling when, when they turn on. This is what, about 110, 125 feet from the basin all the way up to the spillway? Yeah, somewhere around there. And we just did the, redid the lower section, did the mid section up there where the land bridges yep let's uh let's take a stroll up through it real quick yeah this waterfall looks awesome Double media. He's doing Instagram. I'm doing vlog. It's a wrap. If you guys uh, like this one, definitely comment in the comments down a little, below. A little shameless plug. If you guys aren't following us on uh, Instagram, please follow us at Team Aquascape. Yeah, we make fun of Jack Daly. No, that's on here. I get made fun of Daly. Instagram, we don't make fun of me. We have more fun on Instagram, giving Jack a hard time. But no, that being said, make sure that you keep coming back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday to the team page. We're always throwing down new projects, new vlogs there. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up through the winter. If you haven't signed up for Aquascape Academy, you should definitely do that. Honestly, just come here. You can see me in person. Well, we can make fun of him in person. Exactly. But that being said, you guys really enjoyed this one. We had a lot of fun, even though it was super cold, super cruddy weather. And he's. I, I had fun, unlike everybody else. See, I was nice and warm. You can tell he's been slap sweaters. happy for a week. But hey, can I say anyway, I love my job. We do love our job. So keep on coming back. We'll check you out on the next one. See ya.